Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to take you guys on a bit of a journey. I'm going to do a little bit of meal prepping, which I kind of already started, but I want to take you guys along to show you what I'm going to be meal prepping for the week for myself. Hey. Because I'm on a healthy journey, I am doing my best to try to eat really, really well. And um, yeah, that obviously starts with cooking your own food yourself and making good choices. Someone here, this guy just helped me because he came home with a nice fat piece of juicy piece of salmon and I am currently making that and I'm going to show you guys the other things I'm going to make with it to put together to make a meal for the week. Of course this isn't counting snacks but I'll tell you what I do with that app. One of the first things I'm going to be using is this quinoa rice and disregard my nails y'all because they are looking so gross they need to be painted. I'm going to be doing salmon and this is not cut up into the portion sizes yet. I'm still going to cut it up smaller. My hand, I was just really busy. I just did something real quick just so I could get it in the pot. And then I'm going to have some veggies. These are the veggies I'm going to use with this. I did have Brussels sprouts. I was thinking of using my Brussels sprouts, but I don't know if I really want any more than this in this, this meal. I have another idea that I'm planning on making with collard greens. I'm going to be making like a wrap. And there's just gonna be, gonna be like avocados and red peppers and black beans and maybe Brussels sprouts inside of wrapped inside the collard greens. Maybe the Brussels sprouts will be on the side of that because it's technically going to be a wrap. Um, so I have that other meal prep coming up. If you guys want to see that, definitely if you like this video, leave a comment in the description box. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop up these veggies real quick. There's not much to chop up. I only have to chop up the zucchini. The carrots I might dice in half because my toddler likes to eat them and she just wants to hold them and eat them. So I'll just cut those in half and then I will take care of the rest after. <laughs> While the veggies are steaming i'm gonna go ahead and do the quinoa and honestly this takes about 15 minutes to cook they say on low you just basically cook it like rice you guys i already went ahead and chopped up my salmon like i explained there's enough in there for i think five days i'm gonna be having a piece right now it's for your veggies i want to indicate that you can put them you can season them if you want to using like no salt seasonings there's a variety that i use um and they're really, really good. So guys, my food is actually starting to cook, but I just want to talk to you guys real quick. I decided to share this with you guys because I'm currently on a new healthy eating journey. Um, so far, I'm down about seven pounds uh, now that I'm since I started this. I started in January, but I wasn't taking this seriously. I was just kind of working out, but I wasn't putting in all but the work with with regards to eating healthy. So I've had to kind of just nip that in the butt. And now I'm doing much, much better. I see results much faster because I'm actually taking the time to modify my eating. And I'm not putting in just junk in my body. So what I'm doing is I'm just eating a lot of veggies and a lot of like beans and a lot of ch like chicken i'll do in moderation eggs um fish a lot of fish and a lot of beans so that's why i want to show you guys that's like if you're in the same predicament as me and you need to like i need to lose a lot more than just 10 pounds but if you want to lose the first 10 pounds really 
quickly you that's just, this is basically what you have to do and sometimes i feel stupid kind of sharing this because i know i see, you see it everywhere like they t promote healthy eating and show you that you got to eat veg vegetables and you got to eat this but it's also nice to see someone that you follow their journey to see uh, their testament and to see what they've done and to i guess implement it in your diet as well so i hope you guys find this video to be helpful i'll show you guys the final results my quinoa is cooking and everything is underway right now this meal prep doesn't take very long either you can meal prep pretty fast if you just put your mind to it just devote half an hour to just devote half an hour to just like getting your containers and everything set up and just chopping up things and throwing it on real quick the stove is doing the majority of the work and then you'll be set for the week and then you know what to just grab and go all my food is ready i've already eaten some of the fish so i'm gonna go ahead and pack out what i can for three uh, for four to five days <music> So there you have it guys i have five days um, of meal prepping all lined up in a row as you can see my containers are all different um you don't have to have the exact same size containers i do want to get specific meal prep containers but i'm just using what i have for now to show you that i'm just kickstarting um, with what i have as opposed to just delaying starting my journey until i get what i feel like i need I still have a piece of salmon left in here. I had a piece for lunch. Hubby had a plate and he also came back for seconds. So that's how much fish there was, guys. So you guys, I just want to point out that I only made five containers and those were specific for dinner. I generally make 10 if I'm feeling like eating the exact same thing that day. But this week I'm trying to do something different. I will be doing an, uh, doing another meal prep and it's basically the thing that I showed you. It's going to be like um, the collard green fajita where I wrap like all these healthy ingredients inside of a collard green and that's going to be like my wrap and meal. So. I will have to do another meal prep for this week even though it doesn't take that long for some reason i decided to do two this week generally you could just do it in the one step and it will be done it'll be just done that fast but you will end up having to eat the same thing twice i don't want to eat the same thing for breakfast and for for lunch and dinner so for breakfast i am going to keep it simple it's going to be something like keto style probably like eggs and um avocados and stuff like that i'm trying to step out of eating too much like heavy oatmeal in the morning so i don't think i'm going to go that route but i just want to indicate that for this video because you guys are probably going to be like oh my gosh like five days worth of food like five plates of food doesn't necessarily generate like meal prepping for a whole week because what about all the other meals well that is my reason and that's it guys for today's video so i hope you guys find today's video helpful i try to put as much information in as possible if you guys want to see more meal prepping of as to what i'm eating as to what i'm preparing for the week um definitely leave a comment down below and i will be sharing more videos with you guys so until next time thank you so much for watching don't forget to give today's video a like don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as share these videos if you find them useful and helpful in any way so until next time guys much love